Selena Quintanilla Perez, Spanish pronunciation, S. Elena Quintanilla Perez was an American singer, songwriter, spokesperson, businesswoman, model, actress, and fashion designer. Referred to as the Queen of Tejano Music, her contributions to music and fashion made her one of the most celebrated Mexican-American entertainers of the late 20th century. Billboard magazine named her the top-selling Latin artist of the 1990s decade, while her posthumous collaboration with MAC Cosmetics became the best-selling celebrity collection in cosmetics history. Media outlets called her the Tejano Madonna for her clothing choices. She also ranks among the most influential Latin artists of all time and is credited for catapulting a music genre into the mainstream market. The youngest child of the Quintanilla family, she debuted on the music scene in 1981 as a member of the band Selena y Los Dinos, which also included her elder siblings A.B. Quintanilla and Suzette Quintanilla. She began recording professionally in 1981. In the 1980s, she was often criticized and was refused bookings at venues across Texas for performing Tejano music a male-dominated music genre. However, her popularity grew after she won the Tejano Music Award for Female Vocalist of the Year in 1987, which she won nine consecutive times. She signed with Emmy Ladin in 1989 and released her self-titled debut album the same year, while her brother became her principal music producer and songwriter. Selena released Entre a Mi Mundo, 1992, which peaked at number one on the U.S. Billboard Regional Mexican Albums chart for eight consecutive months. The album's commercial success led music critics to call it the breakthrough recording of her musical career. One of its singles, Como La Flor, became one of her most popular signature songs. Live 1993, won Best Mexican-American Album at the 1994 Grammy Awards, becoming the first recording by a female Tejano artist to do so. In 1994, she released Amor Prohibido, which became one of the best-selling Latin albums in the United States. It was critically acclaimed as being responsible for Tejano music's first marketable era as it became one of the most popular Latin music subgenres at the time. Selena Quintanilla was born on April 16, 1971 in Lake Jackson, Texas. She was the youngest child of Marcela Ophelia Quintanilla, née Samora, who had Cherokee ancestry and Abraham Quintanilla Jr., a Mexican-American former musician. Selena was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Quintanilla, Jr. noticed her musical abilities when she was six years old. He told People magazine, her timing, her pitch were perfect, I could see it from day one. In 1981, in Lake Jackson, Quintanilla, Jr. opened his first Tex-Mex restaurant, Papa Geo's, where Selena and her siblings Abraham III, on bass guitar, and Suzette Quintanilla, on drums, would often perform. The following year, the restaurant was forced to close after a recession caused by the 1980s oil glut. The family declared bankruptcy and were evicted from their home. They settled in Corpus Christi, Texas, Quintanilla, Jr. became manager of the newly formed band Selena Y. Los Dinos and began promoting it. They needed the money and played on street corners, weddings, quinceaneras, and fairs. As her popularity as a singer grew, the demands of Selena's performance and travel schedule began to interfere with her education. Her father took her out of school when she was in the eighth grade. Her teacher Marilyn Greer disapproved of Selena's musical career. She threatened to report Quintanilla, Jr. to the Texas Board of Education, believing the conditions to which Selena was exposed were inappropriate for a girl her age. Quintanilla, Jr. told Greer to mind her business. Other teachers expressed their concerns when they noticed how tired Selena appeared when she arrived at school. At 17, Selena earned a high school diploma from the American School of Correspondence in Chicago and was also accepted at Louisiana State University. She enrolled at Pacific Western University, taking up business administration as her major subject. Quintanilla, Jr. refurbished an old bus, he named it Big Bertha and the family used it as their tour bus. In the first years of touring, the family sang for food and barely had enough money to pay for gasoline. In 1984, Selena recorded her first LP record, Selena Y Los Dinos, for Freddie Records. Despite wanting to record English-language songs, 
Selena recorded Tejano music compositions, a male-dominated, Spanish-language genre with German influences of polka, jazz, and country music, popularized by Mexicans living in the United States. Quintanilla, Jr. believed Selena should record musical compositions related to her heritage. During the recording sessions for the album, Selena had to learn Spanish phonetically with guidance from her father. In 1985, to promote the album, Selena appeared on the Johnny Canales Show, a popular Spanish-language radio program, on which she continued to appear for several years. Selena was discovered by musician Rudy Trevino, founder of the Tejano Music Awards, where she won the Female Vocalist of the Year Award in 1987 and for nine consecutive years after. The band was often turned down by Texas music venues because of the members' ages and because Selena was their lead singer. Her father was often told by promoters that Selena would never be successful because she was a woman in a genre historically dominated by men. By 1988, Selena had released five more LP records, Alpha, 1986, Munquito de Tripo, 1987, and The Winner Is. 1987, Preciosa, 1988, and Dulce Amor, 1988. Selena has been credited for helping redefine Latin music and its sub-genres of Tejano, Cumbia, and Latin pop. Selena broke barriers in the Latin music world. She is considered one of the most significant Mexican-American singers of the end of the 20th century. People magazine named Selena one of the most intriguing people of the 20th century. U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison named Selena one of the spirited women who shaped the United States. Selena also became one of the most celebrated cultural products of the United States-Mexico borderlands. Selena was called the Queen of Tejano Music, and was described as the most important and popular Tejano star of all time. Her death was the most devastating loss in Tejano music history, according to Zach Quaintance of The Monitor. At the time of her death, Selena became one of the most widely known Mexican-American vocal artists and the most popular Latin artist in the United States. She had a cult-like following among Hispanics. Selena has been named one of the most influential Latin artists of all time and has been credited for elevating a music genre into the mainstream market. Latin Post called the singer one of the most iconic artists in Latin American music history, while the New York Times called her arguably the most important Latina musician in the country, on her way to becoming one of the most important, period. Selena became a household name in the United States and Mexico following her death and became part of the American pop culture. She became more popular in death than when she was alive. After her death, her popularity among the Hispanic population was compared to those of Marilyn Monroe and Madonna in Anglo-American culture. According to author Carlotta Caulfield, Selena was one of the most popular Latina singers of the 1990s. Selena's popularity was drawn in by the LGBT community and minority groups in the United States. The popularity of Tejano music waned after her death and has not recovered. John Leonard of Billboard said in an interview with Biography in 2007 that when Selena died the Tejano market died with her. Dreaming of You, the crossover album Selena had been working on at the time of her death, was released in July 1995. It sold 175,000 copies on the day of its release in the US a then record for a female vocalist and sold 331,000 copies its first week. Selena became the third female artist to sell over 300,000 units in one week, after Janet Jackson and Mariah Carey. It debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200 chart, becoming the first album by a Hispanic artist to do so. Dreaming of You helped Selena to become the first solo artist to debut a posthumous album at number one. Dreaming of You joined five of Selena's studio albums on the Billboard 200 chart simultaneously, making Selena the first female artist in Billboard history to do so. The album was certified 59 times platinum, Latin Field, for sales of 3.54 million album equivalent units in the US alone. As of 2017 it has sold over 2.942 million copies in the US making it the best-selling Latin album of all time in the country according to Nielsen SoundScan. As of 2015, the recording has sold 5 million copies worldwide. In 2008, Joey Guerra of the Houston Chronicle said its lead single, I Could Fall In Love, had made the Tejano goddess a posthumous crossover star.
Her death was believed to have sparked an interest in Latin music by people who were unaware of its existence. It was also believed her death open-ed the doors to other Latin musicians such as Jennifer Lopez, Ricky Martin, and Shakira. In 1995, the United States Social Security Administration ranked the name Selena one of the 100 most popular names for newborn girls, and namesake Selena Gomez acknowledged Quintanilla's influence. In December 1999, Selena was named the top Latin artist of the 90s and best-selling Latin artist of the decade by Billboard for her 14 top 10 singles in the Top Latin Songs chart, including seven number one hits. She was the best-selling Latin female singer of the 1990s in the US and Mexico. Selena was named Best Female Vocalist of the 80s and Best Female Vocalist of the 90s at the 2010 Tejano Music Awards. Selena was shot and killed on March 31, 1995, 16 days before her 24th birthday. By Yolanda Saldivar, her friend, and the former manager of her Selena Etc. boutiques. Saldivar was cornered by police when she attempted to flee, and threatened to kill herself, but was convinced to give herself up and was sentenced to life in prison with possible parole after 30 years. Two weeks later, Texas governor, and future U.S. president, George W. Bush declared Selena's birthday Selena Day in Texas. Her posthumous crossover album, Dreaming of You, 1995, debuted atop the Billboard 200, making Selena the first Latin artist to accomplish this. In 1997, Warner Brothers released Selena, a film about her life and career, which starred Jennifer Lopez as Selena and Lupe Ontiveros as Saldivar. Selena has sold around 30 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling female artists in Latin music. In loving memory of Selena, please write loving comments. Tell us your favorite song of hers and why.